Hello everyone, I'm Son of Beast, and I'm Mephone, as the regular season is officially complete. And now, we are about to step in the, the NBA, NBA playoffs. playoffs on 2K Sports. It's next, after this. Hey folks, Mephone is ready to break things on here for the Eastern Conference Playoffs. And the commentators right now will be me, Son of Beast, and of course, Fan. Welcome back to the game. Thank you very much right now. I'm very curious of what's going to be happening next. Brooklyn Nets and Miami Heat. Oh yeah, got a rematch time. This all brings out to be just one everybody loves here so far. That was the part of Miami that everybody loves him the most. But not for the Brooklyn Nets, the Kyrie Irving, the name of Uncle Drew. But pulled him up his best performance run here since the pandemic has already been hitting on him. Since he missed most of out of the games. But he's overrated at that point. I don't understand it. Yeah, me neither. I don't know what to say, but, um, you know, this, this can be really very tough choice out there. Not me to share when it comes around with the size out there, but it's all that tough. Man, it was hard. Yeah, totally hard, but everybody knows that it gets things a lot much better than other players do. Very tough to make the answer here, but it's time to see who will win again for the third game. Right now, Miami Heat has the lead series 2-0 over Brooklyn. And the last game was just a wild night for Utah Jazz to win the second overtime and the buzz beater was Boban Bogdanovich. Yeah, it looks like Bogdanovich did a great job actually. I'm pretty sure he, did, might, he might have to do this one for the fourth game if they their team wins and moves on here for the second round. Sometimes it might be very tough for them to give you give it a while. Everything that might be turned out there great, well, and who knows? Maybe someone may, may have a point to get right into it. And now, let's send you over to Barclays Center for the third game. Heat, Nets, they are on their way. Next. 2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA Playoffs of Eastern Conference. A look from earlier as the Nets head to the locker room. They're in no mood to let this game get away from them on their home turf. Be ready. All players are all set and ready to play here in Brooklyn. What a gorgeous town here. Of course, the Barclays Center could be always the best one to be described here. The part of the Barclays Center of Brooklyn. And we are already here to be bring here for the city court. It's all brand out nice and fantastic. Here's Alex. Yeah, we've seen smaller market teams unhappy with how the buyout system has played out as of late. Agents using their leverage to get their clients to a more glamorous situation. Is it truly shifting the balance of power? That's subject to debate, guys, but these concerns aren't going away anytime soon. Well, we'll see, well, we'll see how they do. Thank you, Riley. And we'll, we'll take her here from you, Son of Beast. Son of Beast, we have always known that you, you have done it before. But before Chris Sonic guy has already got done the first season here for a part of NBA 2K17, the Heat and Nets. How does this game usually turn out to be just like anybody else here? Well, the thing is, I, I really have uh, seen some players definitely wanted to get right into this one. But for me, I just would have say that I like to do things a lot much, um, lot much different here from Chris Sonic Guy. I always change it up here, so I bring things back to help with all the player that they need to know. It's a lot that hard, but it's very nice to see how... how um, the players come back here in Brooklyn here and part in part in season one. I think it might be a better idea to do this thing again. I think so. It might be a good idea to do things a lot much carry on to make a difference out there with much better timing. Steph Curry makes a first bucket here for tonight. And right now Brooklyn is up here by 2-0. Here's Lowry. Passes off to Robinson. Robinson right to Lowry. Again, Robinson, Q 
can't find anybody as their Miami is moving them all around. Trying to put the ball on the loose. Around on the bio. And on the bio hits the first bucket. Miami and Brooklyn are tied by two. Those players are really out are, are all overrated at that point. In between Irving and Jimmy Butler. KD on Tucker. Passes off to Curry, right inside Drummond. It's out of fire with a bam block. Now the Tucker will take it from here. Robinson with the ball. Butler for three. Reaches out, nowhere to go, right behind. Curry always have gotten this uh, strength out there after uh, playing with the Sixers. I think his most time can be a little bit change up here to try to work your way around. Without Ben Simmons, I think Andre Drummond and Curry will do their will do their own work here for for their third game. The wraparound shot for Lowry is good. The bucket for Lowry will has gotten a great point average here. And Bam Adebayo with the assist. Bam Adebayo is not that crazy guy. I've, I've always been seeing what he could definitely do. I'm pretty sure that it, it might be very hard what they need to get. But it's all the same. Andre Drummond can't find a bucket to make the layup as the two bands always collide. Drummond has really have gotten a lot of pressure out there in the regular season. But I think their team in a real season have already been beaten against the Cavs. But I think the real one is going to be very tough. Yeah, of course, because if all this happens, it's what they do. Nice alley up here for Andre Drummond and Kyle Ir Kyrie Irving has, has gotten a great first alley -oop successful running the third game. Brooklyn and Miami still tied. Back to Lowry, right to Butler. Butler with the ball. Five to shoot. Robinson over Curry. The drive is good. It's Robinson with the first bucket. Miami is putting a much pressure out there. 110 and 113 off of the rebound at the post It may not be really, really tough, but we all need to know it gets a lot much better. And the foul has been called by Bam on the bio. It would have been a clean block, but something got worse. It get right from the shoulder. Yeah, let's have a look one again. Let's take a look at Bam on the bio. Yeah, he did bam here from, he took a hit here on the elbow, and that range is going to be a very tough call for the referees to make a decision if it's a foul or not. But now they know it's an easy call. Kyrie Irving at the free throw line shooting too. He has never done it here before since his age is putting up here back from a couple of regular seasons. The first free throw is in. Now the players really gotta have to try to find another way to get there. Three, four players are checked out, and four players on the ever team are checked out. Mills, Edwards, Griffin, and Aldridge are checked in. And the other hand is, is Victor Oladipo, Tyler Hero, Martin, and, and definitely, you always know, Martin. Up an overhead pass to Hero. Back to Martin. Butler will help him out. Screams rejected, back to Butler. Drive is good for Butler, and it's Martin with the assist. Martin got a great one, yo. Just like he did here before. All players definitely move the ball around. They know they have it all. Irving stepping in, free for Griffin, good! That's the first three-pointer here for Griffin, and it's Irving with the assist. Brooklyn lead by one. Adebayo passes up to Hero, back to Martin. Martin backing in, drive is good. Back in the range here, one by one. Martin with the first drive in has been already been dominating his first run here in the third game. But I think it might be very hard for him to give it another try. Edwards makes a three! Now they have it all dommed up. It's a 14-12 game in the third game of the season. Martin, back to Hero. Up and overhead pass to Butler. 
Butler inside, makes the drive, and he goes up with a number two points. Tyler Hero with the first assist, and it's now 14-14 run in the game. Mills driving forward, off the angle, and that's Victor Oladipo with the rebound. Victor Oladipo's got a great carry out there with the first rebound of the game. But now for a moment of time, that will be a very hard run to make the, make the transition to even become better. Six on a shot clock, out of bio, fades off to Butler. Butler around Griffin, and it doesn't carry out. The first quarter is closed now with 14 scoring run in between Miami and Brooklyn. It's very tough, but there might be a leadoff change later if we, when we come back. I would be able to do a lot of bigs or assist effort from my wings as well, helping me out. You know, I may not make the right play every time I'm on the defensive end, but, uh, you know, we're, we're doing a great job of covering for one another. And, uh, you know, I cover for my teammates as well as they cover for me. So, you know, that's just a tribute to our, uh, our team success on the defensive end. And you know the one thing that definitely had his commitments to his sincerity? It's because of all of his defenses getting there much there better. Sometimes it gets like, there's a lot of the wraparound out there, so we are not sure what they can do here. It's very hard for them, but they have it all in response. As we're all here on the second quarter, here's Adebayo. Only we may have one block, but now Martin with the one block, he has already got, don't, just started out here, just going big in the wild attack. Hero right to Old Depot, five to shoot. Hero for three. The fade shot is no good. And the first three-pointer misses out for Hero to start their first game here. In the third game. Now Thomas backs to Drogic. Drogic inside. And it's rebounded by Tyler Hero. Those players could be definitely on a higher streak. Hot streak. Not always going to give up your performance run, but you have to start remembering it. You're not going to waste any more time to get right into it. Ola Depot fires a three and a two with the assist. Tyler Hero has gotten a much better. I'm pretty sure that Victor Ola Depot has already gotten the first three of his game. Double man to tap in and out. Martin with the ball. There's no points for the last game of 218 per minutes here to play on a scoring drought. It might be very hard for him to try to work it around. Hero back to Oladipo. Just five to shoot. Adebayo back with the rebound. And the Miami will have to change it back from the top. Bounce pass to Struss. Fade. Oladipo, on another miss by Miami. Miami is still in the lead by three. Here's Griffin, only scored his first three playing of the game. And the alley successful! Nicholas Claxton takes the dunk, and it's Griffin with the assist. Timeout is called by Miami. What a driving motion out there. I mean, wow, that was like smooth bucket transition in between those guys. Wow. There is no questions out there to ask. But when there is a player that definitely wanted to make the trip back and around, that's what they have done here so far. Wow. New changes are being released here for Brooklyn and and for Miami. Now Lowry is checked back in for Tyler Hero. As Robinson's also checked in with PJ Tucker. Four players are checked out. Four players are checked in. Now on a bio. Max is over to Trish Struss. Struss for two. Rebound it up, and that takes it over if you weren't sharp. Now Curry. Covers up on Struss, back to Sharp. Drogic on Lowry. Drogic looking for a broken man to fight the gap. KD, in such slide, goes in, side stop. What a plane on his run. That was a smooth, well drive. Look out below, Mr. Durant is coming through. 
Rejected by Sharp. And Curry with the ball going in. Rebounded by Kevin Durant and he's fouled. PJ Tucker releases up with a second team foul on Miami. Now Kevin Durant will head to the free throw line to shoot two. Kevin Durant really got a lot much better out there. And after the block from Sharp, <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure I think definitely got much better improvement. They're just going way high on gaps. Take a break, take a break. Two shots. Kevin hits first free throw. And that's all they had. They may have just gotten a lot much better, but most players have a higher average. They may have it all. Irving is shut in for Goran Dragic. And a second free throw is good for Kevin Durant. Brooklyn lead by three. Now he sends over to Robinson. Right over to Lowry, back to Adebayo. They're moving the ball around for Miami. Robinson trying to work his way around. Lowry back to Adebayo. Over Sharp. And that's a smart move. Adebayo receives his second bucket of the night. Kirby finds Curry. The double man has been reporting up his way stronger offer. Sharper three. In and out. Bruce Brown unable to make the rebound and this, this ball goes off. Fades, finds off to Struss. Back to P.J. Tucker. Now they're down to the last minute left here in the first half. Lowry backs it over to Struss. Struss, P.J. Tucker, the lead, it's good. P.J. Tucker gets his first bucket here. And a leading change has already been turned out to be seven in a row. Ties has already been five, but it may be very hard to work it around a bit. Fade away, not a problem at all for Kevin Durant. And they're up by one. Kevin Durant just got a great uh, footwork here. I'm pretty sure that this player knows it all. Lowry in the drive, it's stacked out. Sharp takes the ball back out of here. What a great angle out there with a driving blocking range. Sharp, Curry for three, good! And Brooklyn is now already bumping it up here to start the first half. Lowry with the ball, back it over to Robinson. Back to Lowry, Robinson for three, good! And they are walking it back in there, trailing by one. And the Nets close it off, 25 to 24 in the first half. That's a lot of work out there. It may be very tough, but we have nothing else to share about. But we will come back to this after this break. Force. All right, let's check in on Ali LaForce. Coach, it's been a hard fought game, a lot of hustle plays. What gets you over the hump in the second half? Well, we just have to keep on grinding. That's what this kind of game is like. Uh, you know, in many ways, it feels like a playoff game. But those plays right there, ball in the air, ball on the floor, we gotta, we gotta make sure we're dominating those areas uh, and then make some plays. We'd love to see playoff intensity there in the second half. Thanks, Coach. Thank you, Rally. Be right back after this. We'll see you right back. Great show for the first half here for the Brooklyn Nets. But well, now let's have it all wound up to recap it again for the first half. Center in Brooklyn. 
Welcome back to Berkeley Center as we're about to start the third quarter. It's 25-24. It's a lot of heavy matchups here since the first season has already got just turned out to be blown away for Brooklyn to win it all. And check it out the latest. Seth Curry has always have gotten a great position to be here with the Brooklyn team. Ah uh, yes, I always know that when you're just much just much better than I think. Last time with the Sixers, but now I think he's ready for the Brooklyn to start. Wow! Oh wow! Look man, look out below! Kevin Durant! He is flying back! I expect that one was going to be very hard with that run, but that was all they had. Jimmy Butler making a bucket here, and they are back up by, with a trail of one. After with the scoring bucket shot of Durant, and for Butler, there might be another change up here to go right by it. Here's Robinson, backing over to Adebayo, right back to Butler. Butler back to Adebayo. Inside. Rebounded again. Butler for two. He makes it in. And it gets a leadoff change for Miami to lead up by one. Miami's are leading the change off here. They are unsure what they're going to need to do. But I think this second half is going to be a tough rebounding situation. All for them. All alone. Can't let them deny. Three-pointer miss again for Brooklyn. Butler right to Tucker. Back to Butler. Miami trying to answer back with another release fake. Back to over to Adebayo. Back to Butler. Race of three. That's in there. Butler makes the first three-pointer of the game in the second half. This game is turning out to be just uh, like anybody else. 11 points. Jay, wow. Give that one a huge break. We all give credits on him, but that's what they need to help them uh, held back on their run. Now Kevin Durant has scored his two. They are working their way up. Timeout called by Miami with 3.09 remaining. This all really turns out to be just like they did, but you don't want to mess things up here like they have if you're on a ranging outside of the bank shot. This really stands out. And with all the players, you know, you know, that's just like how they, they really have done. With all, everything they need here to get under control, that's what they usually do here for the second time. It was very hard, but what's happened here before, like they did here for the, for the release week, to bring it back out there. <laughs> you don't have to comply anything, but that's, uh, that's all what it takes. Just the players they really need, and they really want to hydrate up, well, you'll be ready to be here back on the court. New changes and releases here for Brooklyn and Miami. And the new uh, players are checked in on the court. Four players are on the bench right now. And same thing, it goes with Brooklyn too. Hero, back to Martin. Around it, and Aldridge with the denying shot. He gets a piece of the ball. And a shot counts for Edwards. That will be Kyle Lowry's another foul releases on First team foul. Miami. First team foul releasing up a board. Right now, Anthony Edwards is taking his time right now. He all knows his stuff, but I have not seen him shooting at the free throw line since a couple games back in the playoffs. Edwards hits the first free throw, and they're up on the board. One point ahead. Might need to watch out for anybody ducking up behind. Oladipo right to Butler. Now he dish off back to Oladipo. Fades right to Strutz. Strutz can't hit the two. I'm sorry, it's Martin. Irving finishes the drive. And they are all set for releases up here at our home. They want to see how well they can do. That play just is like nobody else out there. This is all they need to know what they can definitely do here for another player to get right back into it. That's all they had. Just fade it off. Oh my! 
Aldridge gets a second block. He was going to make a fade, but he just got caught right on a defenseman player. Wow, what a play. Mills for three. You bet. Three, play, three players are putting up a way on mark. And for Patty Mills himself, well, he has lost. Timeout being called by Miami with only under two minutes remaining here in the third quarter. This all really releases them to make them adjustment. But those players are definitely like already on tire. So it looks like they're gonna to need to try to rehydrate and get back on the and get back on the court. Miami trailing by six. Larry just off to Morton. He has to watch out because well, Marcus Alders has already got, gotten two blocks ahead again. He better not get fooled up again. A nice Steve on Aldridge and Edwards with the ball. What a place to, a placement of the D. That's all they need to know. That gets him a lot of great strength out there. Irving finishes a move and driving inside the paint. Now this is goes to be an eight-point lead for Brooklyn. Larry right to Martin. Around it, and he fights a revenge it off. And says, Aldridge, there's no way that, I, that I'm not stopping here. I know you denied me, but now it's revenge. Now the revenge pays it back. Mills up again. Two points good. And it's off on Tyler Hero. Patty Mills. I mean, what's a good different comparison if there's any of a choice? I think everybody calls him Patty. I like the name Patty. It's all they had. Old Depot for three. He had it all. Another three point releases for Miami. And they're wrapping it around again to try to try to answer back again. Irving, screen on Aldrich, he goes up, and he's fouled by Martin. His first third team foul releases here on Miami. 30.3 seconds left, Irving will head to the free throw line to shoot two. First free throw is knocked in. Now the new change up here releases up for Duncan Robinson and the other player that all turned out to be PJ Tucker. Meanwhile, on those players comes off the court. Curry, Brown, Durant, and Griffin are checked in. Kyrie Irving hits two free throws in the uh, game. And now it's 43-36 game. Hero with the ball. Fades, backs it off to Tucker. Fade, back to Old Depot. Three, Hero! Unable to make the three, and it's a never miss by Miami. Miami's not getting tough here on this, on this transition. They really have to step it up again. You're not gonna succeed with threes if you're gonna keep missing it again. Kevin Durant, what a strong move. Butler, here over the boys, Peter Nuka. Third quarter has ended. 45 36 run. Brooklyn is looking for a chance to win the third game over against Miami with a 2 1 to beat in the series. When we come back, the fourth quarter will be up to start for a rise of Brooklyn and a fall for Miami. It's coming up right after the break. It's time now to present the State Farm Assist of a Game. I'm just definitely really thinking that the Brooklyn Nets are going wild at that point. At that alley-oop, I will cut that one as a chance for Nicholas Claxton. Blake Griffin is showing things off. What a smart move he had. 
Glad you all be making to join us here for the game as we are all waiting for the last period to start. Now, here's Robinson. Checks it off to Adebayo. Adebayo almost missed it. And a jump ball is called by Brown and Butler. Just a one terrific mobile one block here by Sharp. That sharp angle was just like anybody else's. Without no foul, with, without the, without being released here on the penalty, that was all he had. That was a great game for the blocking defense. Miami wins the jump ball. Now Hero has the ball. Goes right to Zucker. Free for Robinson. And again, and never miss goes out for Miami. Curry right to Brown, back to Curry, back to Brown, Tucker on the cover, Griffin holding the screen, five to shoot, Brown can't be able to make the first bucket, Brown is all just concerning it for his side, it may be very tough for him, but it may not be enough for them to try to work it around. Duncan Robinson with another three-pointer. Well, this is up for him score. And Hero with the assist. That's all he has done. Just much better than he got. But I don't think it may not be very, very hard for him to try to work it around a bit. It may be very tough. Well, you'll have to figure it out here with another chance. Tucker back to Hero. Back to Robinson. Butler for three. Ounce is back. Another three-point range in here for Miami. And it's Butler picking up another three-pointer. It's now coming down to the wire here for the, for the leading scoring change. KD up. Rebounded by Adebayo. Adebayo has gotten five rebounds here for tonight in game three. 14 for Jimmy Butler. Adebayo up. Back to Butler. Back to Robinson. Over Griffin. And number one is going in. Butler gets 16 points in the game. And it's a one point trail to try to attack the run. Bruce Brown able to carry out with a missed layup short on the timing period before it was left off behind. It was not that close. You really need to save it. But don't be fooled out there. They had it all. Tyler Hero for three. Got it. And he has made a first three-pointer for the third game. And it's Butler with the assist. With this first three, three, that was for Tyler Hero. He has gotten a great shortage of an angle after playing for the rookie. Now the time has been called by Brooklyn with just 2.26 to remain. In the fourth quarter, we'll be right back after this break. And if all that moment, Butler and the team is a pretty extension in the game. Without the, the players, let's have a look at the New Balance player of the game, Kyle Lowry. Kyle Lowry has just got just got a much of a range in between the uh, action being zoned by attack and attacker. Um, unsatisfying with his all ultimate run. That trick shot will never usually count if they are going to try to work it around it. But that's what they need. Wow, what a show up here for Donabayo. And he stopped on Andre Drummond. And wow, the fans are getting annoyed. They're annoyed already because the, the players definitely got a great defense here for the first seed. But now the Nets are disliking the Miami Heat. You know, back in the first season, because this was all that happened, they've already won, but now this over could be change up to be in the other lane. And look at that, Adebayo has already scored a layup drive. Quick and easy. They are a lot much to carry now. Now the reach and fouls been reached out on P.J. Tucker. With only two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter. KD, right on Tucker. Adebayo up. Rejected by Adebayo. That's number three in a row. Oh, man. 
just get wrecked out there. They just can't get enough to just try to work it around a bit. And that's because the defensive players, they got better. Wow, how strong can you feel, man? On a bio, it's like on the roll. 50 to 0 run. That's what I'm going to try to work it around. And we'll sit up loose. Nice deep. Pulled out to beat Jimmy Butler. And still are just trying to make a, trying to make a dislike without any sense with a guest satisfaction. Tucker back to Butler. Last minute left here for the fourth quarter. Robertson up. Two-pointer, too strong. Here's Bruce Brown. Back to Irving. Now it goes right to Durant. Screen, rejected away. Inside. Get short. And this will be reached out of trouble. That will be Kevin Durant with the first personal foul. The next one will occur if they have it again. They're moving the ball here quickly, and now the foul is called by Seth Curry. And Eric Spolstra all calmed down, and he's just already uh, just uh, ready to prep things up for the fourth game. Expecting you're right. It can be a very technical strain, but we'll never know when this pops by. How I many it is? Really would like to see how this one comes by. Just a bit inside and out. Robinson hits the first free throw. Don't think Robinson is doing really well out there. Just the best uh, player that he has already been getting. And most of the time, it can be very good too. Robinson hits two free throws. 53 to 45 to score. Under 30 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Durant and the attacker. Two point good. But it won't be enough to make it in time. Now the foul has been pulling it up again on Seth Curry. 20.7 seconds left here for, for, the, for the third game of the playoffs. Shooting two. Now shooting two will be Duncan Robinson. Shooting two. Robinson hits the first free throw. Now the last changeup will be occurring here for all four players checked out and all four players checked in. Donovan, Yusivan, and Vincent are checked in. And all five players are checked out. Tragic Mills, Thomas, Claxton, and Sharp are checked in. Good on the double. Last time out has been released on Brooklyn. 20.7 seconds left to go in the regulation period. Most players really have really got much strength. And for everyone who really wants to get right back into the zone, that's what they all really had. Not like anybody else, but that's all they need to know. They really got the great plays out there just before they know. The players work very hard. Able to the action, you know? You know, different and different. Most of the time. Every time. They really do always. I definitely agree. But this is definitely what very comes out to be a hard game, but that was very enough. Basically, not just anybody's game, it's everyone's game. Yeah, of course. Everyone's game is just that. How hard they play, but that's all we really have need to know. Now, no time has been released here for Brooklyn. Mills for three. Missed. And it's rebounded by Vincent. Robinson with the ball. And it will have to stop it from here as Miami takes a 3-0 leading series in the playoffs of the Eastern Conference. What a game this turned out. All players worked really hard, but that's no question to make the answer out there with just any questionable to make the releasement with the best timing of their ability. 55 to 47 is their final score. 
And now we will close it off by Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have here on the sideline for us? Bam, you saw the way Jimmy Butler affected the game in every facet. What does a performance like that say about his impact? You know, it shows what he's all about. He's all about winning. He's all about, you know what I'm saying, just, just impact and winning. And, you know, he's a competitor. And that's what we love about him. That's what I need him to do. Thanks, Bam. Thanks, Allie. Thank Great you so much, Allie. And with all the press of games here Great that turned out to be Nets, a crush of 3 0 score, just like the Utah Jazz and Rodeo over team that turned out to be just like the other way before, Dallas Mavericks. That was just like an, an incredible, well done for both teams that played here in the Western Conference and the Eastern Conference. But there are many, many more to come by for next time's game as you will stick around here for a couple of more games before we head off to game four. Yeah, that's right. That's all we need to know. It's just great that we have it here. Now let's present the three star players of the game, starting off with you, fan. So number three, we go right here. It's always Kyrie Irving. He knows his um, best, uh, best place here before, and sometimes he knows it. And definitely turn it off. Let's turn it out to number two, Son of Beast. Oh, my take for that one. That turns to be Duncan Robinson. Only 12 points in this game, but really have gotten a lot of uh, effort here. One rebound, two assists. That's all he had played here, just like that. And for you, number one, this will be for you, me phone. Yeah, of course it is, because we always know that it definitely does have it all with just massive, massive player, Jimmy Butler. 16 points, 6 rebounds, 2 assists, and 1 turnover releases. Well, that should do it here for the game. With me, phone, fan, and son of beast are gone, this has been a presentation of the NBA Playoffs. You can check out other games that we have done here in Game 1, or check out the previous game in Game 2. With that being said, Thank you all so much for watching. Until next time, peace out everyone. For us a while as the NBA playoffs style of NBA 2K22. Good night for a uh, night of the city in Brooklyn. And with the shoreline of Miami at the Sunshine State. Until next time, folks. They will be meeting again in Game 4 after Game 3 games of matchups are complete. Yep, so that's it. Thank you for joining us. See you guys next time. Good night.